and Zelda in having a watch party here right in the heart of Midtown at Cipriani, the ballroom right across the street from Grand Central Terminal. The door is open to his supporters, who are many, at 7 o'clock. The polls close at 9. Zelda in expected here after polls close and after a busy day of trying to get out the vote and sending out a message against the current governor, Kathy Hochul. In fact, take a look at this. The very first thing Congressman and gubernatorial candidate Lee Zeldin did today was tweet about his opponent long before sunrise. He wrote, today is the first, here, today is the day we fire Kathy Hochul, take back our streets, end one party rule, and save our state. It's time to restore New York to glory, get out and vote, 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 and then, Zeldin voted himself in the heart of his congressional district in Mastic in eastern Long Island with his family. And then he spent the day making stops in various locations trying to get people to the polls. Now, in the last few weeks, Zeldin has hammered Governor Hochul over a rise in overall crime rates, especially here in the city, even though the numbers of the most serious crimes, including murders and shootings, have declined. Today, his message against Democrats was more broad, although his message still began with a mention about public safety. We care about rising crime on our streets. We want life in New York to be more affordable. Attacks on freedoms, having a government up in Albany that we can be proud of again. All the pay to play corruption. Talking a big game about term limits, but not actually implementing them. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, so, this is an opportunity for New Yorkers of all walks of life to unite to save the state. Now, Governor Hochul had led by double digits in polling for most of the campaign until about three, three and a half weeks ago when the margin started closing. And in fact, at one point, Zeldin was within four points of the governor, even though in our own last poll that had widened more to 8%. Still, he is counting on enough voters to show up here in the city and throughout the state to give him the win. His path to victory more narrow than the governor's, but he and his supporters are convinced that he will pursue that path and ultimately be the victor, and they are planning on celebrating a win here tonight.